The little adult assumption is the belief that kids are just smaller than we are, but basically they have hearts of gold and they are reasonable and unselfish. You have two kids, seven and four. Your seven-year-old is constantly teasing the four-year-old. What should you do? You sit down with the seven-year-old and you calmly look at him and you explain the three golden reasons why he shouldn't tease the four-year-old. Number one, it hurts her. Number two, it makes you mad at him. And number three, how would he feel if somebody treated him that way? Okay. If this kid is a little adult, his reaction will be slap himself upside the face, stagger back a few paces, he'll look at you and say, gee, I never looked at it like that before. <laughs> Those of you who are laughing are parents of real kids. <laughs> you know kids don't react like that. Okay? But when we laugh, the laughing is good. See, that laugh is, to me is educational and therapeutic because it means you realize the stupidity of this assumption. And yet people do it over and over and over and over again. So when we do this thing and we talk to these kids like that, we are over-relying on words and reasons to kids that don't really function that well with words and reasons yet. And we're also taking a risk about what we call the talk, persuade, argue, yell, hit syndrome. Now, what is that? Talk, persuade, argue, yell, hit syndrome is this. You have a little girl who's uh, three years old and she's not doing what you want her to do. So you read in the book, just talk it over, even if it takes three and a half hours, everything will fall into place. So you start talking <clears throat> and it's not working. Now you're trying to persuade her. Persuasion isn't working. Now you're arguing with her. Arguing isn't working. Now you're screaming at her. Screaming doesn't work. You wham, you hit her. You have nothing else to do but hit her. So what happened? We wound up with child abuse. And we started with talking. You'd be surprised, although some of you, if you're in the business, you know this. How many instances of physical child abuse start with an innocent attempt to talk to a kid at the wrong time? The conversation should never have been started or done in that particular way. It winds up in the child getting smacked, and it was unnecessary. Talk, persuade, argue, yell, 